Good morning traders. This is an uh, introductory uh, video for forex trading. This is a very basic system. I have more uh, complicated uh, trading methods, but this is this method is really good for uh, beginners and it is traded at the higher time frames, meaning each one of these candles uh, takes about four hours to complete. So basically this is how I set up the charts for a, a very basic trade, long-term trade, that low risk, if you will. I have drawn on the chart here three uh, exponential moving averages, uh, the 21, the 50 EMA, and the 200. So basically how I like to uh, look for trades is to, first of all, uh, look at the longer time frame because you want to establish a trend. So for this pair right here, the Euro USD, it's clearly in an uptrend because all the uh, most of the price action here is above all three uh, EMAs and most importantly above the 200 EMA. So on the daily, sometimes I look at the weekly, but not often. So just to get a general idea, so all the uh, price action is above here. So we're looking for long trades only. So we're looking good on the weekly. We're good, looking great on the daily. So now on the four hour charts, uh, you wait for a buying opportunity. And the way I define a buying opportunity is uh, when you see price action is moving away from all the EMAs, but then pull back. So you're basically, it's a basic pullback uh, method of training. So you want to look back, uh, pull back below these, uh, the first EMA here. Um, sometimes if it dips below here it's okay as long as you see positive price action and I'll tell you what I mean by that later on. So we have a pullback here and then we have this 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 candle combination here it's called a bullish engulfing meaning this one went down next candle closed above the center point of this candle very important so now we're gonna look we're gonna enter a long trade in the uh, direction of the EMAs, which is a buy in this example. Remember, it was a buy on the weekly, a buy on the daily. Now it's a buy on the uh, four hour. So I would enter here. And then I would probably exit if I see too many negative candles, like one or two, depending on the size of them, uh, wouldn't necessarily mean I get out of the trade. So I wouldn't get out here. I wouldn't get out here. Uh, this is for long-term trading. Uh, other videos I have made uh, tells you to get out of the first uh, negative candle. That's just for short-term trading. So this example here, you see two, three candles. I would probably get out here and exit here. Um, or if you want to wait until it dips and closes below the EMA to get out, then you can do that too. So for in this example, you would enter here this point right here and you wouldn't necessarily get out until maybe the third negative candle in a row here so that's 156 pips or if you want to wait until it actually closes below it's about the same thing 150 or so 160 pips so another uh, buying opportunity here would be this is a negative uh, negative engulfing here went up back down again below the center point it closed so that's a bearish en engulfing but we don't necessarily take a sell because everything is above the EMAs so in this uh, condition here I would uh, probably wait draw a resistant line here because this is this seems like a good resistance if you break above that then it's a go and also this here was a support point Support becomes resistance. Uh, for most cases, sometimes resistance becomes support. So um, it's really hard to explain all the different uh, technical analysis methods and charting techniques in one video. But uh, this will be a buy enter here at the uh, close of this candle because it closed above these two combinations of resistance here. Let's look at another pair. Um, and if you guys want me to cover a particular pair, please comment on the video below. So this is the US uh, Swiss. 
So first step is to see what's it look like on the uh, weekly charts. Uh, it's a lot of chopping around, but you can still find good trade setups if you uh, know, know what to look for. So this is below the, uh, on the weekly it's below the 200, on the daily it's below the 200. So you're looking for negative or shorting opportunities. So this candle setup right here, that's a great sign for a short. And you can go back and but we can't go back too far because it's just broke uh, on the longer time frames below the 200. So anyways, <clears throat> excuse me. So this is a bearish engulfing and it's very good bearish because it's uh, it closed way below this, the open of this candle. So here, so there'll be a good short. And probably get out right now if you would have shorted this because it's the... Uh, a lot of positive candles in a row so that's another 120 pips or so so basically this is my the simplest trading method um, it works on lower time frames but it's not as consistent because the uh, lower time frames have a lot of noise so you can trade this on 15 minutes one hour 30 minutes or whatever you want you can experiment with that but uh, keep in mind, the lower the time frames, the less accurate this method becomes. Uh, let me look at another pair here. So first step I do is weekly. So this is on a weekly chart. It's below the 200. So we're probably looking for shorting opportunities. But then on the daily, it's really bullish. So it's up to you how you want to trade this. But I would trade this in the long way because this is it's been consistently going up on the weekly so it's not necessarily a bad thing that it's below the 200 and it looks like it's about to break above that anyway so I would look for buying opportunities uh, the daily looks great the four hour uh, wait for pullbacks so I'm sure you can see a lot of uh, opportunities here that I'm not pointing out um, this would this will be an example of maybe a losing trade because uh, we have bullish engulfing so we entered here. And if you wait for a couple of candles to close negative and it closed below the negative, uh, below this EMA right here. So that would have been a loss. Um, and if you want to avoid all loss, it's, I'm sorry, there's no way of avoiding all loss, but another way to minimize the loss is to put a, um, take profit. Once you're like, you know, 30 pips or above, you can move your stop loss to um, break even. Like I said, there's a lot to go over. There's so many different techniques and setups and um, settings you have to do, like um, stop loss, for example. Uh, what I like to do for stop loss is a few pips below this, uh, the wick of the entry candle, maybe 10 pips. So, so it is quite a bit of um, stop loss setting here. It's like uh, be 75 pips stop loss if you go, because this candle is 65 pips. So again, there's a lot to go over. Um, if you have any questions, email me or uh, comment below the video. Let me put my email address here. Okay. So this is my email address. If you have any uh, comments or concerns or questions, uh, go ahead and shoot me an email. Uh, there's a funny story why I called it Bowtie Forex because I guess people associate bow ties with being uh, conservative and safe. So that's why I called my system Bowtie Forex. Okay, hope you got a kick out of that. But anyways, uh, so let me see. Let's take a look at one other pair here. And if uh, you want me to make a video on one any any pair just let me shoot me an email uh, I love making videos so this is Australian dollar pair first step so it's hovering around the 200 on the weekly so it could be uh, a reversal we have a lot of uh, some technical patterns here like it broke out of this resistance hits it once hits it twice hits it three times so this is what I mean by uh, Support becomes resistance, and resistance becomes support. So hit it here, that was resistance, resistance area, resistance area. The support didn't really hold that well here. 
I mean, here you would have probably thought it's going to sh shoot our car right up, but it didn't. So maybe let's see what it looks like on a daily. So daily looks positive. So, so trading opportunities on the four hour would have been, uh, again, a dip below the uh, first moving average at 21. And then looking for uh, positive and bullish candles. This would have been a great candle to trade here. It also depends on, you know, if this happens while you're sleeping or whatever, then you can probably miss it and catch it a few candles later. These are four hour charts. So, uh, if the, if the great candle happens to happen when you're sleeping, it's okay. You can catch it a few candles later. So this example here, this would have been a great entry at, at the close of this candle broke above this resistance area and then waiting for, uh, lots of negative candles or close below the 21. That's 130 pips and 63 candles. So 63 candles, that's, that's a lot of candles. Uh, hey, I hope you enjoyed the video. And I'm also making this, this video especially made for, uh, my Facebook group, uh, the, that I belong to. Uh, it's called, uh, Trade Like a Boss. Thank you.